Good morning, everybody. Troy here, Troy's Hobbies. It stopped raining. Would you believe it's like in the 40s? It's supposed to be in the 50s, or like 50 degrees exactly. We're gonna go ahead and get set up. We're gonna go ahead and get set up. I'm just gonna do a test. I don't know much about solar panel and setting them up and stuff, so I'm learning, looking up YouTube videos. So, but I got that 200 watt, I wanna make sure it works. There's no damage. I bought cables, I bought a uh, pass-through for the roof, but I don't know. I wanted to get this video out so people that know about solar panels can tell me. I might be missing some parts, like the interior part, how do I close it off? Do I gotta cut the cable? That's one thing I noticed, that pass-through, you gotta run the, the, pass, the cables through, but there's no, uh, <clears throat> the ends, of course, for the connectors are big. So, but it should get a reading. It's not the best weather, as you can see, but I just want to make sure everything works. And I am going to try and get it up there, place it up there. Uh, I bought four uh, Renogy brackets. I might need six. I don't know. That's why I want to get up there. Plus, I got to make sure that the vent clears. But I believe that's why they have the high racks up there because of the vent. See the vent there? So yeah, we're gonna do that right now. We'll open everything up. I'm, I'm just gonna put the solar right here on the uh, sawhorse. This looks nice. So I don't know, these don't unscrew. So how do I get this through? Do I have to cut this to get it through the roof? Let me know. So I got so many questions. I'm gonna try and make this video short and sweet so you guys can, the solar people, solar panel uh, experts, can see this video and help me out. Uh, am I supposed to solder this together or after it, cut it and, and that, or does this actually come off the ends here? Let me know. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hook it. Looks like I bought the right ones. This is for the EcoFlow end and there's the uh, other end. So I'm gonna hook it up, place it upside down there. Here it is. So I'm not gonna install it today. I just wanna make sure it fits, it works. Do some measuring, the length, for some reason, I thought it moved on rails, so it looks like it just screws in here. And there's some screws that, screw holes or holes, I mean, in several spots. So I gotta do some measuring. Uh, I might have to poke some extra holes in here. I, want, I just wanna see if it's gonna reach from there to there, do some measuring. Like I said, I'm not gonna install it now, I just wanna make sure that the panel works and everything I have. And if you know anything about solar, please let me know what I'm missing, but so here it is. So I think I got the right cable. This is a 200 watt Renogy that I got for half, 46% off. So I just wanna make sure it works. Here's the cable that looks right. That's the end I need for the uh, EcoFlow. And then the positive and negative there, this is I think 10 feet. And then, <clears throat> this is what I got a question about. This is for the roof. Did I forget something? So this will go on the roof, but am I missing something for the inside? Because it's going to look nasty with two, two cables just coming out, you know, coming out here. Is there a, a partner to this uh, that I didn't purchase that I need to purchase? Let me know what it is. If you have a link, post it on my YouTube page. But yeah, this goes on top. And I assume I'm going to have to cut the ends here, one of these ends. Uh, let me know if there's a quick connect or something where I cut it and I can splice it together really quick. That's weatherproof, waterproof. Let me know. Uh, and this is, I believe, this is a Renogy product. And one of the complaints, it doesn't come with screws or anything. So I got to buy some of that uh, C RV sealant. But there's no places. It's all, that's the only complaint. But I wanted to keep it all Renogy. And then this one, I got, I bought four four of these I might need another two but I just want to see how this works and uh, I assume this just goes here yeah that's where it goes okay I'm not sure what this is for as you can see I'm a complete noob at this but then I got to make sure that it will work with the crossbars I might have to revert it and do like that or something and put this on the crossbar which will still work this looks kind of funny but yeah, let me know. You can do it that way too. Because the cro cro crossbars go across that way. So I just gotta poke holes. But I'm not gonna do that now. It's the weather's 
not conducive to uh, poking holes in a roof and making sure it dries out. Let me know what I'm missing, folks. But yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, we got that one in there. So we'll plug it up to that one. I'm going to do some quick measuring. Put it on here. Cut these. And try it out. Also, oh, I forgot. I do have a small battery here. So I know that will probably charge the, uh, the EcoFlow. But how about... How can I charge this? So the EcoFlow and this one, I assume this one I would need some type of, uh, uh, what's it called, the little module, so it doesn't overcharge for this. Let me know down below, I'd appreciate it. That's a uh, 65 amp hour uh, AGM battery. Uh, I might be getting a lithium, but I might not right now because I live out in cold climates and lithium doesn't do well in cold climates. Still got snow up in the mountains gonna be there for a while so I might just buy a hundred amp hour regular deep cycle or AGM whatever you call it still messy from my last camp out if you miss that one I'll have a card up on the top right but yeah let's get to it I just want to take a look at the roof so I brought this this is awesome I'm 280 pounds and this holds like five six hundred pounds and it's collapsible and easy to take with me all right let's get to work well, that's easy. Plug and play, folks. Just make sure you line it up, plug it in with the right one. Positive, positive. Color match it. This just plugs in. So we're going to give it a try, see if it works. Fingers crossed. This is easy. Let's go ahead and plug it in on the other end. I'm hoping I have enough room to get over there to the other side of the uh, EcoFlow. I'll just bring everything closer. I think this plugs in, right? Is that it? That's it? Was it that easy? Oh, I heard it click. What? I think it's... It turned on. This is just a test. Get right down some measurements. But I did hear it. Yeah, it's on. What are we getting? It turned on. And it's showing a, a solar... Something... Uh, let me see. I should have just took this up and out but uh, I'm showing something blinking what does that mean crap let me uh, pull the uh, EcoFlow and bring it up here where we can read it because I don't know what that what that means all right there must have been an app update it's asking me for uh, EcoFlow space but yeah it's showing that it's charging it just, just doesn't show the input so I have, uh, I think that's a charging solar, and then I don't know what that is. If that's a, a question mark, red, but it says recharging time. I'm, I'm so confused. Let's see if, if it shows anything here. <clears throat> Am I supposed to activate the back? I'm, I'm so confused. Maybe I'm supposed to. Am I supposed to click something on the back, maybe? Because I don't see. There's nothing with input or output. Output, Or maybe it's just not the best weather. I'd figure I'd register something. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing? It should automatically. It should automatically charge, right folks? But that's what it looks like what's it's given me I gotta find out what that means uh, I got my measurements down up there which I needed that's pretty much it for now so I went inside really quick and looked up downloaded the manual for EcoFlow Delta and it says that's a battery failure warning and then the blinking is not solar it says low temperature because it's cold so I gotta unplug this let me know what's going on something is not compatible i will contact ecoflow and see what the issue is for ecoflow contact me contacted me and told me to try something so i did long press and turn it off unplugged everything so we're going to open everything back up and it says because i've never seen that before when i plug it in with the uh into the house to charge it so 
I did do an upgrade, but I did the upgrade while everything was plugged in. That might be the issue, he says. So everything's unplugged. As you can see here, we're gonna do it. He goes, make sure. So it is off, completely off. So long press, if you have this issue. He goes, make sure I connect to the Wi-Fi to the, uh, to the power bank. So we're gonna do that now. Make sure nothing's uh, plugged in, it's disconnected. Okay, so make sure you're plugged in. I'm hoping this works because I'm running out of. Okay, it's on. <clears throat> so I'm making sure that I uh, connect through the Wi-Fi. There we go, disconnected. I'm waiting, okay, there it is. Okay, so it's showing. Let's go to input. So he goes, make sure you're connected to the phone. Oh, and let's double check. Uh, settings again, making making sure that the firmware, okay, it's up to date. So we're good with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug everything back in. Let me do that really quick. So what I do, what I'm gonna do now is pull out my actual uh, See if it's the cable causing that malfunction. So I gotta pull my EcoFlow portable panel out and the EcoFlow cable out and hook it up and see if it does the same thing. This is the EcoFlow branded. Let's see if this is it. Let's see if it does it again. Please. Come on. Oh no, it's showing. Okay. So now, it's doing it again. We gotta take it inside and hook it up to the house. Because we're getting the same low temp, uh, low temperature and the, uh, right here, that's the battery failure. And it's fully set up. So, and this is all EcoFlow. I've never used this. Good morning everybody, this is day two. I had nothing but problems for over an hour with this. I had two display errors. I had a below freezing or freezing, yeah, below below freezing temps and the uh, uh, battery failure, which is a red mark. So, and I contacted uh, EcoFlow and they told me to go through a certain process and uh, long story short, they gave me a return to repair the solar part of this. And they told me to take it in the house and plug it in. And if I get the same errors, then there's something malfunctioning in this. So I did that, but remember this was cold. I left it in the trailer. So I brought it in, it did the same thing, error codes. And then I tried it about two hours later. This must've warmed up or something. Oops, this must've warmed up. Uh, anyways, I plugged it in and it started uh, charging AC. So I'm back up to hundred. So that might've been the issue because it was in, fr it was fr freezing. I was getting that battery failure. So I'm gonna plug everything up. It just stopped raining. So I'm gonna make this quick. This was supposed to be a short video, but it was a big headache. I did get my measurements and stuff, which is good. But I'm gonna hook it up really quick and see if it actually works. Fingers crossed, folks. See, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. It's not doing nothing. Let's see if it register it. They said, make sure you have your app on too. So maybe because it's at 100%, I might have screwed up. It's not, let me see. Uh, let me see, it's not showing solar. Oh, it, okay, just registered it. And no, the two warning lights would be up here. So I heard it. Uh, let's see. I messed up, I think, because I, uh, I fully charged it. Oh my God but no uh, display errors. So maybe because it, the battery was frozen, or cold, I mean, below the ideal operating temperature, uh, it didn't work. So I got it plugged in. Let's see how fast we can drain the battery on this. Working. 800, roughly 
800 output and I can run it for two hours. Be right back, I'll let you guys know if I get the error or if it's working. So if this is uh, showing the uh, below freezing or freezing indicator, take it in the house. I always leave it in the trailer and that's a no-no. So that might be the big issue. There's no, it's cloudy. It's working folks, I got it. Look at that. I got it working. As you can tell, I know nothing about solar. I thought this was gonna be easy peasy, but I got it down to 88%, and uh, what I did was I turned off uh, the, the power bank and then turned it back on. I noticed if you have the solar plugged in, it will not turn off. It, you won't get that off symbol. So yeah, so I unplugged it, long pressed the power button, turned it back on, and then plugged in the back of the solar, and it's working. It's only 26, but I'm just happy, so yeah. Now I know, if you're getting the below freezing on here, it will not work. Uh, it's showing battery failure. So now I gotta contact EcoFlow to cancel that uh, return. Because they're expecting me to return this. So, and they didn't tell me about the, uh, there's a breaker in the back, so I clicked that also. But I think it had something to do with the, uh, the battery itself freezing. And uh, the person that helped me did not know. Yeah, but that's it for now, folks. If you got anything to contribute to this video, let me know. 28 input, but of course we have no sunlight. It's just, I just wanted to make sure it was working. If it's working, I'm happy. That is it, folks. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.